एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर एमबीबीएस गाइड दी होराइजन आई एम प्रीति अ सेकंड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम कस्तूरबा मेडिकल कॉलेज मणिपाल वेलकमिंग यू ऑल ऑन योर एमबीबीएस गाइड दी होराइजन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रिकमेंडेड बुक्स फॉर नीट बट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग ऑन दैट टॉपिक वी नीड टू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टेक्स्ट बुक एंड रेफरेंस बुक वी हैव टू बुक्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एनी एग्जाम फर्स्ट वन इज द रेफरेंस बुक एंड सेकंड इज द टेक्स्ट बुक वी यूज डिफरेंट reference book to understand one textbook that is our main book questions that are asked in any examination are from the textbook but we use various sources like reference book to understand the concepts that are written in the textbook the things that are written in textbook are crisp concise and sometimes it's difficult for us to understand those concepts so we need a reference book that can emphasize and elaborate on the topics that are written in concise manner in our textbook specifically talking about neat aspirants ncert is our main textbook and we need different reference books to understand the texts or the concepts that are written in our main textbook but our syllabus is our textbook that is ncert the topics that are written in ncert that's the extent to which we need to understand the things no matter we are reading from the reference book or any sources but our limitation is the thing information that are written in the textbook because the informations the questions that will be framed in our examination will be from the textbook so what we need to do is you need to understand the reference book just to clear your concepts to elaborate the concepts so that you get the information in a better way but the things that are written the lines that are written in ncert that line should get engraved in your head because the questions in your examination will be from your textbook now let's discuss about the textbook first textbook no doubt undoubtedly ncert is your main textbook for any subjects be it physics chemistry or biology be it organic inorganic anything but your textbook is ncert but what most of us do is we make other books as our main textbook you should avoid this mistake you should not make any other book as your main textbook this was the mistake that i also did NCERT is your main textbook so you need to read remember frame questions use retrograde method and everything just on your main textbook that is NCERT now talking about the reference book the question book the modules and everything that you can use for each subject so let's discuss on that as we know chemistry is divided into physical chemistry organic and inorganic chemistry specifically talking about physical chemistry anavasti is the book that is recommended for you anavasti has framed many questions based on the pattern of ncert but some questions are above the level but you need to follow the addition that is framed for neat aspirants if you have already completed that addition then only go on g mains or iit level but your requirement is the questions that are given in anavasti for neat ug students some of the questions that are given in that addition they are also higher one level higher than what is required but then also it will strengthen your concepts so you can refer to anavasti for solving questions for physical chemistry and to clear on the concepts read ncert and if you are not getting something from the ncert first go and read the notes or the things that are described by your teacher if you need to do it earlier than before then your teacher is stating then please refer to the module of any coaching institute because they know what are the area that should be emphasized their modules are designed in that manner that will help you to read and emphasize on the topics that are important from examination point of view but remember the sequence first read ncert if not getting the information if you are not able to understand then go to the teacher's notes but if you are reading prior than your teacher then you can refer to the modules there is one more book that is comprehensive chemistry that is a very good book in very simple language it has explained concepts so if you are in class 12th and you need to have theory knowledge for the topics because you are going to attempt going to appear for board exams also you can refer to that book too now coming to organic chemistry for organic chemistry you need to read and remember 
NCERT, the reactions that are given in NCERT. Nothing more than that is required. Now talking about inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry is the thing where you need to read NCRT as a Bible. If you are making your own questions and you are using those questions to answer while you are revising, at least NCRT things will get engraved in your head. Other than NCRT, if you need to solve questions for inorganic chemistry, you can refer to the modules. That will be the best option. If you need to clear the concepts for inorganic chemistry, go to teacher's wood because teachers will be the best thing that will be explaining you the concepts, clearing all your concepts and their notes will be the best thing for you to refer. So refer to the notes. Now coming to biology, what to do for biology? Biology is a thing where again question method is applied. Biology ka koi extent nahi hai. If you will refer to any other book, bohat sare informations, bohat sare examples diye and you need not remember all those things. So the best thing is to refer to your module and module se bhi sirf wahi topics, sirf wahi examples jo NCRT mein diya hua hai. When it comes to concept, to clear the concept only go to reference book. Examples, facts, ye sari cheeze reference book se yaad karne ki zarurat bilkul bhi nahi hai. What to do for physics? So, talking about physics, first, how you will clear the concepts? Teachers are the best option to clear the concepts for physics, but if you want to do something theoretical, like which I have told you, like uh, the semiconductors, communication, atoms, nuclei, and some more topics, magnetic field, so you can refer again to the modules but other than modules you can refer to GRB because it has described the concepts in a better way but not for question solving. For question solving you can refer to DC Pante because that is the book signed according to the question pattern that are asked in NEET examination. So you can refer to DC Pante and there are some books that are referred just to strengthen our concepts but time is a limitation. If your time permits, then only go to that level of books. If your time is not permitting, if your schedule is already so concise, compact, you need not go to that level. If you have completed your syllabus, if you are confident, then surely go to it and strengthen your concept to another level. I hope this will help you all and you will choose a very good book and strengthen your concepts as soon as possible and complete your syllabus within a time limit.